Oh God, he's gonna get me. I don't have any pants on, is the problem. Well, I'm talking to her other boyfriend right now. I'm finalizing the divorce paperwork. Wait, let me office style zoom into her. Yep, she's talking to her attorney right now to finalize her divorce. She wants the house. She wants full custody of the children. Hope oh, she can hear me. Just coming out here to let the chickens out. And the rooster's already out. He's making a bunch of racket this morning. Uh, I have to go there, but I don't want to go past him. If you watched your video yesterday, you'll know that that bastard attacks me like crazy. He's got me cornered. He's got me cornered. He's got me cornered. Did you take it? Oh God, he sees me. I wonder if he was locked out all night. He's gonna get me. I don't have any pants on, is the problem. I'll try to keep that off camera. Oh god, he's coming. Oh god, he's coming. I gotta get over there. If you watch our YouTube channel, you'll know that bastard chicken rooster attacks me every single day. Normally I have pants on. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't know how the hell he got out or he just was out all night. Sorry for my lateness. See, now I gotta crawl under this thing to open that door. Yesterday I did it and it was terrifying because this thing attacked me about seven or eight times in a row. Must not show weakness. Yeah, you win this round. Come back with my shotgun, see who wins that round. <laughs> You're a grown man running from a rooster. What the hell is wrong with you? Like I said, I'm in my pajamas. I don't have any pants on. I don't want my legs to get bloody. I really wish we never bought these stupid chairs. They just continually... It's not going to hold no matter what I do. It's and done. It's, and it's the wrong way. No, it's not. It, it, you need to get rid of it. I need to just throw it out. You need to repurpose it. What about if we build a wood base for it? Great. Right. There you go. Oh, there we go. We don't have wood for that either. Well, that was going to be my first project for the day, but I don't see any way to fix this. I don't have a welder, and this is material so thin. I could weld that part and that part. It's so cheap. Light. I've been rinsing them twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. And then hold it on an angle so you get all this extra water out. Are you supposed to do that? Yes, but as you can see, they are actually growing. So that's one. Yes, you... <laughs> they're growing out of the hole. So can we eat those now or do they have to no, go a little bit longer? No, they still have to go. They have to go like five or six days. So this is the fourth day. So these have definitely grown. You want to wash and rinse them twice a day. So are you sure you know what you're doing? Because I thought you had to have them soaking in water for like a couple days. That was with one video said. It said soak them in the water for a couple days. I did and they got moldy. So I did some more research and it said no, you're supposed to drain them every day. The first day you want to soak them in water for 8 to 12 hours. And then, this one doesn't have a lot. Then you drain them. You rinse and drain, rinse and drain. And I just shake all the extra water out so I don't lose any seeds. So this is new to me. If you guys know anything about sprouts or uh, the seedlings from these, please let me know. I have a question on, um, can you, after you sprout these, can you use the sprouts and reseed them again? Or how does that work? Like if Amazon doesn't have any sprouts or the internet is all out, can you reuse these anyhow? Like dry them out and start over again? 
So our electric clothes dryer broke down for the last time. I changed the heating element in it twice. It's not the heating element. Something's causing the heating element to burn out. But it's getting warm out. We have a clothesline outside, although it's rained for two days. So today I'm going to turn on our new wood-powered clothes dryer, which is this thing right here. Jen's got all this stuff hung up, waiting to dry inside. It dries really quickly under here. We just got to be safe and make sure nothing's directly over the fire. So this is going to be our clothes dryer going forward. I'm not going to fix that one anymore. We use way too much electricity on it. And uh, I think this will also help us to conserve a little bit better. So yesterday I made a uh, homemade carrot cake, which everybody seemed to really like. It was really good. Today I'm going to use our bananas that aren't really overripe yet, but I don't want to wait much longer. And I'm going to just make banana bread. I just want to say really quick, I love this KitchenAid maker I bought. I bought it a couple years ago at a garage sale. I think it was like $25. So if you guys, when this virus crap is over, go look for one of these. This is the best thing to have for when you're baking. So I'm going to finish it up. I'm just so going to put... Does it go up and down? Yes. Well, that's cool. Into it and putting my butter. It smells good. So what tips do you have for Alyssa? Follow the recipe. Always make sure that you're adding the right stuff and the right That's uh, my tip. measurement. That mom never does. Follow the recipe precisely. If it says a tablespoon, don't use a teaspoon. If it says use baking soda, don't use baking powder. You have to follow it precisely. Exactly. Can you not go so close? I want to see if I can see inside your eye. So they want me to put chocolate chips in it and then put it in this little muffin tins instead of the big thing. So we're just going to switch it up a little bit, add some of that. Ooh, there are mini ones. So I'll take it <laughs> Mix More. it up and then we'll put it in the pan. So it's Sunday, it's Sunday day 17 or 18? 18. 18. It's Sunday day 17 or 18. Jen just made banana bread. Right. We're having sandwiches for lunch. And now we're going to watch church on TV. Our church, our pastor at church is recording uh, the service. And then I upload it to the website, which I did last night. And we're going to watch. Uh, but there are plenty of people that don't have that opportunity. So reach out to them. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, looks like the chick. Never mind. I was going to say, it looks like the chickens are all in there. How come the big boy's not coming over? Come on, big boy. Big boy? I think big boy's sick. He's not eating. We have to buy stuff on Amazon, people. Yeah, the big is Tell me what We need to see if we need frying pans, if we need silverware. Like if we let's say, let's say we're gonna go camping today. What do we need? We gotta cook stuff. Is there stuff in there to cook stuff? Is there pots and pans and and, and, and plates and dishes and, 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 and matches and, 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 and. Sixty-six times. God, that's gotta hurt. You want cookies? Fridge. Yeah, uh, but you can't eat them yet because they got coronavirus on them. I'm let I'm letting them. I'm don't touch. I'm letting them quarantine for a couple days. You already ate some. Yeah, but I have a really strong stomach. I ate plenty of food, Marvel. My stomach can stomach the coronavirus, not you guys. All right, let's go out to the camper and figure out what we need to go camping eventually someday. I'll come back for you. We need to see yeah. if we need silverware, pots and pans, stuff so we can go camping. Let's go, 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 go. We're taking inventory of this camper and seeing what things we need so that we could actually go camping, such as a frying pan, plates, things like that. We're going to see what we have and then see if we can order some stuff on Amazon so that we can get this thing ready to go. That's for creating the count. It's been a couple days. I like to start this thing up every now and then let her run for a while. Purrs like a kid. If you're new to our channel, we purchased this camper a week before everything out broke. We actually took our girls out of school earlier than anyone else did. We bought this camper a week before then. I'm still really happy we bought it. We plan on taking this on an adventure to the Grand Canyon or Yellowstone once things become safe to do so. In the meantime, we're fixing this thing up. And so Emma's starting to make a list. We're starting to brainstorm some things. Paper plates, so we have plastic cups. So we have enough cups. We have enough cups, plates, and bowls 
No, we need a couple more bowls. We need like a larger bowl if we're gonna make like a salad or something. Okay, then we need a frying pan, a pot. We need like a cooking set. We have this two-sided sink, so we also need uh, somewhere to dry the dishes. So we need a dish drying plastic oh, thing. Right? Yeah, we yeah. need forks, knives, and spoons. Silverware. I did that. <gasps> Why don't we just use that? Where? Oh, the one that we have. Why don't we just use that? We own this for the wall tent. Okay, that's off the list. We have pots and pans and bowls. Katie, we found a spatula set, and then we realized we have all this camping stuff that's awesome that we used in our wall tent. Alma, take the bowls off. Katie found more bowls. We have plenty of bowls. The company sent us to this sent us this for our wall tent. We have pots and pans and they all go into each other and then everything ends up eventually in this big bowl but then we can use this bowl too for popcorn or making a big salad or something why is it in there? Seriously? this isn't even half the set the rest of it's out in the wall tent so we're gonna have to walk That's out through the wall tent and get it, it. Katie, perfect all we use a garbage can all right girls now we gotta go help mom with the garage This is our outdoor garage, which is a complete disaster. But we're trying to bring it back to life and turn it into Jen's woodworking sign, she shed. It may not look like it, but we are making some progress. Keep going or she's going to stop working. Come on, Mom, you got this. M-O-M space I-S space B-S-E. What does that spell? Mom is the best. What do we have for dinner? Alyssa, we're eating leftovers for dinner. Jen made some roasted cauliflower. I'm eating our leftover chili. And I've got some cheese and crackers. So we're all eating all our leftovers. Alyssa, say the prayer. Be our guest and let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen. Then we're watching the president's uh, press conference he's having, and then we're going to watch, what do you think, like 12 or 13, or maybe like 20 more episodes of The Office. Yeah, well, you watched it yesterday. You only watched two, and then we turned it off. Yeah, I had to go edit the video. I got The people, if you guys are watching these videos and you enjoy them, please leave a thumbs up. Comment. Tell your friends. Share on Facebook. Tell some other people about it because every night I gotta waste like so two crazy. hours editing this and it takes forever. Joe from Capper Outdoors left a comment and said, Carrie, you need to stop embarrassing your children so much. I think he was referring to my singing that I was doing yesterday in the car. Katie, did I sing that good? Was that embarrassing? What? Come on, I'm zooming into you like the office. Is that embarrassing? What did you make with mom earlier today? Banana bread. Banana bread Chocolate muffins. Chocolate chip muffins. Chocolate chip. Mom's too busy talking to Sean from McDonald's. Mom's talking to her other boyfriend right now and finalizing the divorce paperwork. Wait, let me office style zoom into her. Yep, she's talking to her attorney right now to finalize her divorce. She wants the house. She wants full custody of the children. Oh, she can hear me. Alyssa, how did those muffins turn out? That's it, that's how you're gonna edit. You're just gonna say, get, get. Say something funny for the people. Was it Sean from the Was you that your attorney? That? Yeah, it was Sean. Did you finalize guy. the divorce paperwork? No, it was my Menards guy. What can, do you want? Can you stop? No, everything gets filmed. <laughs> well, it's the guy for the camper. Didn't you have a question for him about the generator? Oh, yeah. I just had one question. First, thank you for the camper. We're really happy with everything. We, we love it. We haven't been able to use it yet, but we really like it. So I was just wondering, is there like a switch or something that I need to turn on and off when I use the generator? Like a, some other power cut off or a relay or something? I know. It's not that hard, so I'll just try putting a new battery in and go from there. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, otherwise, uh, we're really, really happy with it. So thank you. We really like it. Right. Yeah, yeah, likewise. We're being really careful and staying at home and 
Yeah, same for you. I hope you I hope you stay safe and uh, healthy. All right. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Good night. Bye. The struggle is real. What is that? Switch. It's a filter. It's cold. Yes, it was been in the fridge for like seven years. You gotta make sure you do that in the fridge too, so it knows that you reset it. I don't know what to do. Ah, doesn't know it. What Just to push it. You have to reset it, or it's gonna stay. It right. is. It says good. Yes, is that? Did you reset it? That was good. I reset it, Jared. I reset it. I reset it. But did you actually reset? See? Okay, that never happens. This is some air in the line. I, I think. Told you. Shh. There's air in the line. You gotta let it run for like, if I remember correctly, you gotta let it run a long time. No, you don't. You did it wrong. Ah, there. It works. Could you call the divorce attorney? I already did. You never listen to anything I say. I'm always right. You're supposed to let it, here, you can hold no, this, Katie. No, you're not. You're supposed to let it run for 60 seconds. Hold the top of it. No, you're not. Are you joking or not? Matches <laughs> They're just little tiny muffins, so I could eat 600 of them. Could you please hide these muffins? I can't stop eating them. I hate them. People found them. Hide them better. You're a horrible. Don't. <laughs> I'm gonna be so fat from this stupid virus. The coronavirus isn't gonna kill me. My fatness is gonna kill me. I'm gonna die of a heart attack. All I do is eat little muffins and carrot cake and <laughs> bread and homemade bread. I'm gonna film tomorrow's video in the style of the office the entire day. Do we have ice in here? I don't like close ups. Office. What were we at yesterday? My goodness. We're at season three, episode 20. Oh, look at Jim's dressed like Dwight. This is a hilarious episode. It's kind of blurry. Question, what kind of bear is best? You guys have to wait. I want to watch this one.